I didn't see this one coming, but Beauty of Josan just released their new Aquafresh sunscreen. But how does it compare to the original, which I'm already such a huge fan of? Hi, I'm Scott Walter and I'm a board certified dermatologist and I'm a huge fan of Korean sunscreens. If you're new here, Korean sunscreens offer more advanced UV filters than we have available here in the United States, thanks to the FDA not approving a new UV filter since 1999. So what's that mean? The filters abroad allow for more advanced formulas, which make them much easier to wear on a daily basis. They don't sting your eyes. They don't smell like sunscreen. It's an enjoyable experience. So that's why I'm such a huge fan, because I want people wearing sunscreen every single day as a dermatologist. So let's get to it. I'm going to compare these two to show you what the differences are. And I'm also going to measure hydration afterwards so we can see which one might be more moisturizing. Let's start with a brief recap of the original. The notable ingredients here include green tea, ginseng root extract, vitamin E, niacinamide, and fermented rice. It has a creamy but lightweight texture that rubs in clear and leaves a nice dewy finish. What's always stood out about this one compared to others is that it's quite moisturizing. So it's great for winter, even though I wear it year round. But how's it compared to the new Aquafresh? From an ingredients perspective, the Aquafresh also has fermented rice, probiotics, and green tea, but adds soothing panthenol, ferulic acid, and hyaluronic acid. It doesn't have niacinamide. But what's really different is the texture. It's lighter weight and provides a slightly more matte finish compared to the OG. I think you might like this one more if you thought the original was too moisturizing or if you have oily skin. Honestly, you can't go wrong with either. And my hydration measurements show that the original beat out the Aquafresh 46 to 38, but still both moisturizing. 